What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's TV review of the season finale of the Disney Plus original series, What If Season 2. This is the episode, What If Stranger Supreme Intervened? All right, guys, we're at the end, uh, at least in, for the next couple months, apparently, of Season 2 of What If. Uh, there was a trailer release for Season 3 or a clip release, so that's coming very soon, so we'll look forward to that. But right now, we're going to talk about What If Strange Supreme, of course, intervened. Um, this was an episode that is definitely the season finale of a tv series uh this is what happens if you throw everything in the kitchen sink into the blender and let it rip uh it was a pretty pretty entertaining episode not the best of the season but it was one that had you know it brought back pretty much every character you can imagine from what if it allowed peggy carter to do peggy carter you know at, in this universe and gave us more Quixote. and uh i'm all about it to be fairly honest it was fun it was entertaining it did what it needed to do um of course it continued right after what if the avengers assembled in 1602 and see strange asking for help from of course peggy carter and of course strange supreme is the one who lost his world so there is a, a little bit bit of um let's say underlining themes going on with strange supreme that may not be prevalent in the first part of this episode and in essence what's happening is strange supreme asks peggy in his universe which we find out he's been collecting all these like bad guys and super villains and all kinds of multiverses. So we see all kinds of, you know, things that we've seen in past MCU movies and stuff like that to go to this world to basically recover what we find out is Quixote, who he claims is a super villain. So she does. And we find out that, of course, Strange Supreme is uh, kind of uh, maybe has his fingers crossed behind his back. Yeah. So therefore... Kiordi and Captain Carter have to basically uh, take down Strange Supreme. And that, of course, it goes into the realm of what would happen if the Marvel Cinematic Universe went into anime like Dragon Ball Z. Because, of course, Strange Supreme is overpowered. He wants his world back and he will do nothing. He'll stop at nothing to do that. But, you know, Captain Carter and Kiordi uh, are very strong in their own right. And they release the Kraken and release all the bad guys. It creates a mass hysteria of dogs and cats living together. And it becomes, you know, know one big fight sequence yeah it basically leads to them like you know thanos comes back and you know she gets dusted and of course the uh was it uh killmonger who has the, the the gemstones the stones themselves the infinity stones uh he is taken and thrown into the gauntlet of bad guys fighting each other we there's a really cool thing where we see like rocket raccoon who looks like a a dead eye or whatever and just like this really cool costume and you know and she takes all the stones and the 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 uniform that of course killmonger was wearing they also fight zombie of course scarlet witch which which is an awesome battle sequence you know back and forth and you know they're flying in the air and you know kiordi may be overpowered but she can do all kinds of crazy crap and stuff like that fly and float and teleport and all that stuff and uh it leads to them basically taking on strange supreme with the with the infinity stones and we find out that he has a forge now forge is what you would think it is it's a thing that's forging to bring back his universe but he's doing that by basically sacrificing all the super villains that he has collected and in the process he is using this forge and going to use all the super villains to create his own world back and bring it back to bring of course christine back because as we know he became super powered and destroyed his whole entire world now there's <laughs> there's a lot of references to like lord of the rings in here there's a lot of references to you know uh the matrix there's a lot of references to a lot of the things that Brian Andrews is probably a big passionate fan of. And it really shows, especially when, you know, Peggy Carter fights the, like demonic creature, uh, strange and stuff like that. When they're falling down the pit of Lazarus or the pit of uh, despair or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's also the moment where all the, all the characters, all the super villains give, you know, the, the, the shield and the, the sword and all that nonsense. They throw it to, of course, Kiordi and of course, uh, Peggy Carter, and they use all the weapons to fight strange, but, but strange is also very powerful so it takes a lot of brute force like uh, like i said on anime style in a lot of respects and they eventually are able to defeat of course St supreme strange by throwing him into the forge which re recreates his world to be fairly honest and it allows peggy to basically go with the watcher and kind of have an adventure i guess you could say and you know kiordi goes back to her home her own world she's able to save her own people and everyone else and they all go back to their original world and stuff like that and 
And Strange Supreme goes back to his, you know, he's dead, and he, but he's recreated his world, similar to like the Matrix in a lot of respects. And it's basically that. It's a, it's a way to tie up the second season, a way to tie up the loose ends of the f end of the first season with Supreme Strange and stuff like that. It allows Peggy Carter to get one step closer to having what she wants. And I like the fact that she's been talking to the Watcher, and it's almost like a guide type of thing. And, you know, there's a tree of infinite, like, branches and stuff like that. And it's it's basically a way to conclude the second season and give it a wrap-up, but not entirely finish out the entire series, because there's going to be a third season, as I've, you know, specified. And as we've seen uh, a clip of, like, what, somehow, like, I don't know, uh, Thelma and Louise or something like that. I don't know what's going on in that clip, but... Um, yeah, but in this episode, it's just, it, it basically gives us everything we got in Avengers Endgame in a lot of respects, but for what if, like a big battle sequence, a lot of fighting, not a lot of plot or substance when it comes to that, and it allows us to see how powerful, and depending on how you feel about it, you know, Peggy Carter and Kiordi can truly be when they work together, and I, I really appreciate that, but, you know, that's kind of where the episode ends. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it isn't as highly regarded in my book as the last episode, The Avengers in 1602, just because I guess I was expecting a lot from it. It doesn't, I mean, I, if I were to rank this episode, if I were to give it a rating, I'd give it like, you know, eight and a half or 8.75 out of 10, because I, I just feel like all this build up, all this kind of, you know, all this stuff that they were going for is kind of completely lost is kind of completely deflated because one you only have 30 minutes and two the strange supreme stuff should have just kind of it, it just should have waited it should have done something else you know it just felt like you know there's a moment where she goes and she tries she's going to retrieve cordy and you know there's this world that has been kind of destroyed by the tesseract because peggy carter and steve rogers have been killed and there's not really much to kind of embellish upon that so maybe they'll do something in the third season whenever that comes but i you know i'd like to know more about that kind of stuff and there, it's just it's a way for us to get to the big battle sequence between the different bad guys and creatures and whatever and it's more of like style over substance so it's a it's a little bit of a downgrade it's a little bit of a i kind of should have expected the season finale of a tv series to be like this because it usually is like that and once again it leads to a cliffhanger which i expected because it is marvel but there is no after end credit sequence because it doesn't really need it but at this point we're going to see peggy carter and the watcher maybe have some adventures throughout season three and we'll see where that goes but i still think it's it's a very fun episode i think it definitely is entertaining for what it's worth i just don't think it's as good as the last seasons you know was uh, strange supreme and stuff like that which was a little more hard hitting a little more uh a little more hit you in the feels than this one does but the visual flair and the kind of audacity that what it does and the different characters you see and like the fact that you you know you see like the the dragon from shang chi and you see Wen Wu again. You see the you know the tribes, the Mohawk tribes, and stuff like that. It's it has its moments. It really does. It does work. So overall, eight point seven five out of ten. Whatever, we'll give it eight point seven five out of ten. It's still worthy of a, a really good episode. And it's better than the season for Phase Five or Six or whatever we're into in the MCU right now. Uh, and I got to give credit to Brian Andrews, who's been uh, kind of uh, leading the ship on this on this franchise. I think he's done a really nice job with his writers. And I uh, can't wait to see what he does next. So there you go. Uh, anyways, with that said, that is going to be my take on the season finale. And, of course, of season two of What If. This is What If Strange Supreme intervened. And, uh, yeah, if I give the season uh, a score, if you want to be interested, I'd probably... 8.9 out of 10 it was a it was a pretty good season it really was there's some really good highlights especially the last two or three episodes so yeah there we go that's the end of season two that's the end of my nine day <laughs> journey through nine days of not sleeping and doing other things and it's been a crazy holiday people that's all i can say so with that said uh thank you so much for taking this journey and we'll see you in season three uh but as i always say comments below what was your favorite episode of season two what was your favorite moment of season two uh anything yeah let me know so otherwise thank you so much for watching if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out